The Aceh Tsunami Museum, located in Banda Aceh, Indonesia, is a museum designed as a symbolic reminder of the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami disaster, as well as an educational center and an emergency disaster shelter in case the area is ever hit by a tsunami again. The Tsunami Museum is located on Jalan Sultan Iskandar Muda near Simpang Jam and opposite the Blang Padang Square in the city of Banda Aceh and was inaugurated in February 2008. The museum building was designed by an ITB Bandung architecture lecturer, Mr. Ridwan Kamil. The design and Tata Rumah Aceh as Escape Hill takes the basic idea of Rumah Aceh, namely the traditional house of the Acehnese people in the form of a stilt house. On the first floor, there are several rooms that contain trace of the 2004 tsunami. These include the tsunami, pre-tsunami, during the tsunami, and post-tsunami exhibition rooms. Apart from that, Several pictures of the tsunami event, artifacts of the tsunami rail, and dioramas are also on this floor. One of the most interesting props is a four-dimensional space that simulates the event of tsunami, which occurs in a morning of 26 of December 2000. Another interesting props is a diorama that showing us a floating PLTD ship that was stranded in Pungi Blangchun. After 19 years have passed, the tsunami and earthquake that happened on 26 of December 2004 are still clearly remembered by all our Chinese people. The tsunami wave, they reach 30 meters in height and up to 316 kilometers in speed, have a very devastating impact on the coast of Aceh. The tsunami was triggered by 9.3 earthquake of magnitude, which happened at 10 kilometers in depth. The disaster which combining earthquake and tsunami have taken more than 230,000 people's life. In response, numerous countries are giving their hands to help Aceh recover from this disaster. The lesson we learned from the disaster is the importance of disaster preparedness and the importance of adequate facility in infrastructure in disaster resilience such as disaster safe school curriculum, evacuation route, early warning system, and lastly, escape buildings. After 19 years of tsunami have passed, but until this day, memories and trauma are still felt by some Chinese people. Therefore, we must to improve ourselves to be better prepared for disaster in the future, especially for the younger generation. Thank you for watching.